hello guys so today we'll be learning about playwright selectors so selectors are nothing but locators and uh, using locators we can actually perform actions on the element so if you have to click on any element or let's say uh, this python button okay then you need to get this locator of this element right and there are multiple way we can uh, find a locator like xpath css okay if you are coming from selenium background then probably we are using these things right but in case of playwright they have support of xpath and css apart from that they have also introduced some new locators like text selector and uh, init element selector okay these are some uh, new new uh, select uh, options uh, like they are using so uh, like if you see our previous program or uh, where we have actually generated this auto generated this code using playwright inspector right so you can see this page dot locator this is the way they are actually finding element so like in case of selenium we have used to write like driver dot find element right so instead of that here we have to write page dot locator and here you just have to pass this value so what is this you may be not able to understand but it is actually a text locator okay and uh, one thing is that so you might be thinking like okay how do i generate or how do i create this locator it is auto generated right now right so uh, maybe you are trying to uh, try it here okay in the google page or something like that and uh, let's say uh, maybe not the google page but it is like the playwright is first reliable in twin testing modern web application so it is actually the if we did the search play right and here this actually this it clicked on that this element right so here if i oh sorry in in the elements tab in the dev uh dev, dev two right so uh, if you hit this and press enter it is not actually highlighting any element because this is not a valid selector for this dev tool they they are not able to understand right so you need to write xpath or css here then only it will understand but how can you validate it okay so uh, playwright has introduced a new uh, kind of i mean we earlier already saw that uh, but uh, using that thing like playwright inspector it you can actually uh, validate some locators i mean this particularly this locator you can validate any locator i mean uh, like you can validate xpath as well uh, but apart from xpath and css also other locators are there right so those locators you can actually validate using uh, this sorry using page uh, playwright inspector so let's see uh, how can you generate uh, or how can you validate the playwright inspector uh, playwright locators using playwright inspector so i will again write playwright code gen and i will paste this google.com and hit enter so it should uh, open the window for playwright inspector and also it will open the browser at the same time in chromium and why chromium is getting launched because by default always chromium will be launched until and unless you are mentioning here uh, from you need to use a flag like that's that's browser equals to uh, some firefox then only it will work it will open that in the firefox we'll be covering that later uh, but for today we will be covering few few one or maybe i mean little bit about selectors right so we got this window now if you like you can see like uh, this is also already generating these locators like area level search all right now what you can do here uh, like uh, you just have to inspect it here and then go to console here you need to write playwright playwright you can you get it right and now dot then dollar then braces and here you need to mention uh, which locator you are want which locator you want to find let's say i want to find this google search so i will put it in uh, like single quote 
or not single quote but it is actually a text right so text equals to google search and and hit enter so you can see it is actually uh, highlighting the element right i mean it actually got the element so it is not highlighting but it got the element so you can see uh, the google search value is google search so if you now inspect it or if you go to this part and uh, if i inspect it now here see this is the value uh, but no i want this one so class g in 0 8 and b and google search right and if you go here so it is also g in 0 8 and b and google search right so these two are actually same right i am just checking there is no other hidden locators so yeah Zero, eight, yes so this is the locator you are getting right so using the text selector so text can be worked on any element where there is a value is given unique value is given so one thing i want to mention here like uh, text equals to google search right here uh, this this actually finds any element where a google search word is there it is not like just it will uh, locate this particular google search so uh, you have to you need to understand it with a example right so for that let's check whether you have we have anything uh, like any word which is there or something uh, let me check it so you can see uh, this word Google right or maybe India no, not India mm. okay I think I can try it Google only so let's try it play right dot dollar and I will use text equals to Google so it actually uh, it, it should show all the elements where Google text is there okay okay it's still giving the Google search only because maybe there is no other uh, places it is finding so that's fine uh, okay just need to put it here okay okay mm. okay so let me check if there is any other website where we can uh, validate it or it hard to find but the concept is like uh, if you use playwright dot dollar and text equals to google okay in this case sorry i have to use we cannot use uh, i mean this should be double quote okay and within this double quote we can use single quote so first you have to use the double quote then text equals to google so google should be in the single quote okay now if i hit enter you can see uh, it is saying the uh, reference error playwright is not defined oh, okay sorry i made a mistake playwright right if i hit enter it's saying undefined so that's what i'm saying i'm trying to say see this here also used uh, sorry here are you also used uh, like text equals to google here also i'm using text equals to google but the difference is this google is in the single quote and there is this google is not in single quote so that means it is actually working as contents so it is searching for all the elements so google search this button it got and now it check whether this button has google in it or not so if it is in it then it will find the element so if there is two buttons like that where google word is there then it will or any other text okay where google word is there in that case it will actually uh, show those uh, two locators okay or two uh, particular uh, HTML DOM element right so uh, yep and if, like for this one we are actually specifying like only uh, get the element in which 
the particularly only Google's text is there not uh, the Google search or any other thing okay so this is the difference between these two so use it whenever it is required most of the time you should use this one because this is this will give you the exactly unique locator but in this case it will not give you the unique locator because it may be uh, tomorrow uh, Google developer introduce one another new button like Google something so in that case you will not be able to locate it right it will always I mean it will be confused it will always go for the first element like in Selenium we know like uh, whenever we, if you have there is more than one element then it will always click on the first element right uh, okay so the that's thing the okay this text selector I hope it is cleared and also you can try like this like um, playwright dot dollar okay and in this you can mention text okay and hit enter okay so it is not getting anything now let's try with button so yeah so one button is there okay so close button so I'm not sure where it is this close button is there in this page uh, okay but it is actually identifying uh, there is a button name is, is like close uh, I'm not sure why it is but uh, we can check it okay leave it but yeah using this one you can check whether this button but maybe this button is not visible in the so what you have what you have to do to let's say you want to uh, get a button which is visible right so in that case you can right playwright dot dollar and then use button colon visible hit enter it is giving undefined so just let me check once so this is the button I think double code you need to use is it no that is okay I mean single code is also working so that is fine right and uh, this button is equals to visible uh, yeah so you can see this dot a login button colon visible so I think we need to use colon I have used colon so probably there is no visible button so that is why it is showing like this so uh, if I click on it particular um, gmail button uh, gmail link and here I think there is two button are there so I don't know whether it is a button or not but what you can do uh, we can try it uh, so let's check it playwright dot dollar and here I will write like within double quote I mean you can use single quote or double quote anything is fine whatever you feel comfortable you can use it so button equals to visible so let's see whether there is any visible button or not visible button is there or not no there is no visible button so that is okay I'm clicking on sign in and okay here also I think there is no visible button okay these are not actually button actually right so, there is no button actually so let's go for any other site uh, like button would be there so probably we can go for source demo okay I think this one is button you check mm -hmm. There is no button here as well. Uh, okay, no problem. So if you click on the create account. Okay, you can see this is a button. Okay, so we can uh, try it here, right? So just inspect it and go to the console and here 
um, move it to the right so that we can view this complete part and playwright dot dollar and then within that I am using the double quote button colon visible so if I hit it you can see it's actually showing the visible button even now it is actually highlighting it right so it will actually highlight if it is finding it otherwise it may be like it is not hidden I mean it is not there actually I mean it is not highlighting the if it is not highlighted that means this uh, button maybe it is getting it but it is not in the visible area somewhere in the behind I mean it is hidden that simply so here you can see this button colon visible is actually it's like the visible next button okay so if I even you can completely view it like you can uh, like expand it and like right and collapse it all things you can do so uh, last more thing like dollar if I use just button now so in that case also it is giving because this button is I mean visible doesn't mean even though it is if it is not visible then it will not show here this part so to get the visible button only you can use this locator button colon visible okay so although it is not advisable to write it because it will uh, actually find many uh, locators right and many selectors wherever let's say there are three buttons are there so it will actually fetch three buttons so you you are not sure how to handle it right so and uh, list use this text no it is not working okay so i need to use the text equals to log i mean whatever text is there like show password you can use it uh, like that text equals to uh, show password so i can I should use this single quote and then send show password yep it's actually hovering over when you are hovering over it it is actually highlighting that this button is getting selected so you can see text equals to show password okay i hope it is clear and uh, thank you for watching